So I, um, I speak about uh, my main uh, interest and the research that is the myeloma bone disease. Myeloma bone disease is the hallmark of um, myeloma patients because the, these patients have a fracture, several skeletal related events, including severe bone pain, hypercalcemia, and they speak about the, the pathophysiological mechanism involved in bone destruction and in this hematological malignancy. Uh, in the last year, uh, several groups uh, have identified which is the, the main mechanism involved in the osteoclast activation and bone destruction uh, by myeloma cells. And also has been identified the mechanism by which uh, the bone formation process is suppressed by the tumor into the bone. And the identification of this mechanism uh, uh, lead to, uh, to identify several uh, target to develop a um, specific drug uh, targeting both uh, osteoclasts and osteoblasts. In this moment, we have only one drug approved uh, for the treatment uh, of uh, bone disease in this patient is bisphosphonate, but in the future we, we have uh, some uh, drugs in uh, clinical development and we hope to have uh, uh, new treatment for uh, this uh, complication for multiple myeloma, myeloma patients. Bisphosphonates are uh, um, whole drugs that are used to block uh, osteoclasts, so bone, uh, bone resorption. Uh, we have not drugs uh, to stimulate uh, bone formation, but uh, there are some monoclonal antibody, anti-DKK1 or monoclonal antibody anti-sclerostin that in the clinical, preclinical and clinical development uh, to stimulate, uh, stimulate bone formation. Yes, in animals, but we have also uh, some phase one, two clinical trials in, uh, in humans. Uh, I think that is very promising drug. Another point that uh, other uh, drugs that are introduced in the treatment of multiple myeloma, such as uh, proteasome inhibitor, bortezomib, carfizomib, are also able to affect uh, bone remodeling. So these new drugs have a positive effect on, uh, mm. uh, on the skeleton, on, on bone disease. However, uh, we have not uh, uh, we are not able in this moment to, uh, to block completely the, the, the bone extraction in this, uh, in this tumor. Lenalidomide, talidomide also block uh, uh, osteoclast and bone resorption and bortezomib, carfizomib stimulate uh, uh, osteoblast, uh, osteocytes and bone formation. So these are anti-myeloma drugs that also have a positive effect on, uh, on bone remodeling. Talidomide uh, is used for the treatment of uh, myeloma, is an anti-myeloma effect, and also uh, show an effect on osteoclast as a limited uh, uh, bond extraction. However, thalidomide and its derivative lenalidomide are not able to stimulate uh, repairing, bone repairing. So the only class of drug able to stimulate uh, bone formation and repair bone are uh, proteasome inhibitors such as bortezomib and carfizomib. The future, I think that in the future, the best uh, for treatment of bone disease in this patient is the combination of these new drugs, thalidomide and proteasome inhibitor, together with monoclonal antibody, anti-DKK1 or anti-sclerostin that are anabolic agent that uh, stimulate bone formation.